You've joined Prophecy Talk for analysis of world events and unfolding Bible prophecy. Brought to light by prophecy expert and author Erica Gray of www.ericagray.com. The Antichrist will be Jewish and will have Jewish ancestry because he will come from the tribe of Dan. He will come from a European country, Western, Central, or East European. Why Dan? To understand why Dan, we must look at Dan's origin. Rachel, the wife of Jacob, was both beautiful and, like most biblical patriarchs, had her area of sin. Rachel could not have any children and became jealous of her sister Leah, who bore Jacob four sons while she sat childless. She became angry at Jacob and blamed him for her childless state. In Rachel's jealousy, she grabbed her maid, Bela and gave her to Jacob as a surrogate to have children for her. And Bela bore Dan. Jealous rivalry continued between Rachel and Leah. Rachel's maid bore a second son to her, Naphtali. When Jacob left the house of his father-in-law, Rachel stole his idols and lied to her father as he searched for them so that he would not find them. She also kept this secret from her husband Jacob, who did not know that she had stolen the idols from her father. Rachel's attachment to the idols was so great that she stole them and lied to protect them. No doubt she was thrilled over the birth of Dan and doted over him, and he followed in her area of her idolatry. Judges 17 and 18 tells the story of Micah, an idolater who lived in the mountains of Ephraim and who employed a renegade idolatrous priest. Dan and 600 of his men went searching the land for an area to settle in and came upon Micah's house. They forcibly took his idols and his priests to serve them. Then they went into Laish, took the land by murdering its inhabitants, renamed it Dan, and set up Micah's idol and employed idolatrous priests to serve them until their captivity. Dan set up idolatry in defiance of Israel's God. In scripture, currency is synonymous with idolatry. The image of Micah was made from money that the mother of a boy saved for the purpose of making it into an idol, which ended up in Micah's home. In my book, The Seed of the Antichrist, Bible Prophecy in the European Union, I write about the mark of the beast and point out other biblical examples of currency turned into idols. These are all forerunners of the image and number of the beast, including Micah's idol. King Jeroboam, Israel's northern kingdom, a first king who the Bible mentions over and over, as the man who caused Israel to sin, placed two golden calves which he set up for idolatrous worship. He placed one in Bethel and the other in Dan, which both lay on the extreme southern and northern part of the kingdom, 1 Kings 29 to 30. Bethel afterwards became a center for idolatry. Dan already existed as one which is why Jeroboam placed a calf there. In Amos, which foretells Israel's captivity, in Amos 8.14, God declares judgment on Dan for its allegiance to its false gods. There is another reason Dan is not among the 12 tribes of Israel. Genesis 49.16 tells us that Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. The word used for judge means to act as a judge, minister judgment, requite, vindicate, govern, contend, strive, to be at strife, quarrel. 
Dan will judge his people, meaning that the Antichrist will come from the tribe of Dan and will cause them the greatest hardship by acting as a judge for his people, causing their judgment. Genesis 49:17 continues. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, and adder in the path that bites the horse's heels, so that its rider shall fall backward. When we think of the serpent, we think of the devil who tempted Eve. Dan is a type of devil whose idolatrous ways will influence the rest of the tribes of Israel and having them fall backwards into idolatry and its lies versus their allegiance to the God of Israel. This is Satan's work in Israel and through the ages among the Gentiles. Jeremiah 8.16, which prophesies about the last days, states, The snorting of his horses were heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones, for they have come and devoured the land and all that is in it, the city and those who dwell in it. In the same context, chapter 17 continues, For behold, I will send serpents among you, vipers which cannot be charmed, and they shall bite you, says the Lord. This is the fulfillment back to the prediction that Dan will judge his people and his being a serpent by the way and is talking about the Antichrist siege of Israel during the tribulation. In an earlier blog, I spoke about the many biblical contrasts of Jesus and the Antichrist. Jesus rises from the tribe of Judah and the Antichrist rises from the tribe of Dan. Both Jesus and and the Antichrist are symbolized by lions, with Jesus being the pride lion and the Antichrist the scavenger lion. Both Jesus and Dan are referred to as a lion's whelp in scripture, and it's also found in Genesis 49, 9, Judah, and Deuteronomy 33:32 Dan both are Jews and while the Messiah comes from the tribe excuse me and while the Messiah comes from the tribe of Judah the false Messiah comes from the tribe of Dan and Jesus stated that he came in his father's name and was not received but one is coming in his own name who will be received. John 5, 43. Thus, the Antichrist will be Jewish, and if you read my book, The Seat of the Antichrist Bible Prophecy in the European Union, you will learn more details about this coming dictator and the final world empire that will launch him. You will also want to read my book, The Antichrist 666, The Antichrist of Revelation. And... I want to emphasize once again that the tribe of Dan is synonymous with idolatry and so isn't the Antichrist. The Antichrist is the ultimate in idolatry because he actually stands in the Holy of Holies and declares that he is a God and then an image is made to him. This again, why he rises from the tribe of of Dan. Would you like to understand the book of Revelation and how in no uncertain terms the European Union is the final world empire that will launch the Antichrist by Erica's riveting work, The Seat of the Antichrist, Bible Prophecy and the European Union. It's available in paperback or Kindle. You can purchase it on Amazon or from her website at www.ericagray.com. Jesus closes the book of Revelation, declaring, Behold, I am coming quickly. John 20, 21 records, These things are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. John 3.15 promises that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
trust in Jesus today. He lives and he is returning. Thank you for listening today. Tune into Prophecy Talk next week with author and prophecy expert Erica Gray. In the meantime, be sure to visit Erica Gray's website at www.ericagray.com. 